Hi gang, Coach Reynolds here. I'm going to give a quick rundown on how to set up the Blue Flame Pitch Machine for our single A division. Uh, we run these machines at a 4-4 setting, and what that means is the power lever, lever on the bottom is set at a 4, which mine is, and the release block on the back is set at a 4. The other adjuster on these machines is to uh, raise or lower the uh, ball being pitched. That has nothing to do with how fast that ball will come out, but mine is currently set at a 3, where my micro adjuster, uh, as you can see, is somewhat uh, balanced right now. Um, I just put everything at a neutral uh, for this tutorial to see uh, how to set everything up. So first step is uh, how far we need to set this machine up. Uh, if you look at the uh, top of the machine, it'll give you 30 to 40 feet at a 4-4 setting. Uh, 30 feet will actually put the machine out in the grass. We don't want that. We want it at max distance so the kids can uh, pick up that ball coming out of the machine. So we want 40 feet. To get 40 feet, we have the pitching uh, circle here on the t-ball fields. I just count out uh, four steps. One, two, three, and four. When we look down, we are pretty close to 40 feet. Uh, so I'm going to grab my pitching machine, bring it out. Set her down there at 40 feet. And make sure I'm somewhat centered down the uh, middle. Once I am, I'm going to pound these uh, stakes into the ground. So we're set. Now, that pitch machine should never have to be changed from that. I'll tell you why right now. Uh, we're going to go over ball orientation when put in the uh, machine. Uh, the machine is going to mimic the human hand by... Uh, the micro adjuster being your thumb and these rubber uh, pads here being your fingers causing friction on the ball. Uh, so we want to throw a two seam fastball and in your hand a two seam fastball will be on the two parallel stitches with your thumb being underneath so this is going to be upside down for this but to get this in the pitch machine we have the diamond LC5 ball with the little league logo here in the middle. We want to place that ball so that little league logo is up on the top. It can be faced either direction, it doesn't matter, but that puts those stitches on the bottom along the rubber so that when you pull the uh, release block back, it's going to spin the ball at a two seam fastball right down the middle. So we're going to uh, see how to calibrate mine. Right now it's set up neutral, so we'll see. My ball is extremely low on that one. It hit about uh, two feet in front of the plate. Now, to raise that ball, for every half turn of this micro adjuster, you're going to raise that ball up one foot. So I have a lot of room down here on the bottom. I'm actually gonna give mine about four full rotations uh, because I need it to come up a good distance. So I'm turning it to the left, which is moving the screw up out of this block, moving the ball up, raising the uh, ball on the uh, pitch arm as well. So we're gonna try that one again. I've moved it uh, probably about four full turns, so that ball should uh, move up a good distance, about five feet. Got the ball back on, two seam fastball, logos up. Pretty close. I might raise that one more for just a quarter turn and try it again. Two seam fastball, low goes up. And distance wise, it's pretty close. That's as uh, easy as it is to set these up. Now, um, one thing uh, I see some guys do is the ball start hitting the dirt uh, it'll start flying high, so they'll start moving uh, the power level lever. They'll start moving this back block. They'll be moving this all around. Uh, it's actually ball orientation, so I'm going to put another ball back on. If your ball's hitting the ground, most likely, because this can only uh, mimic a two seam, is if you're placing the ball down this way, so the logo would be off to the side, it's putting... A rotation on the ball which is a two seam sinker 
So that's why your ball is hitting the dirt out in front of you. It's catching enough stitch to get that two seam sinker rotation going. Uh, so that's why I would just recommend uh, picking that logo uh, that's on all of our league balls, making sure that's up, giving you the stitch on the bottom for the two seam fastball. Um, these machines, even if you put the uh, stitch on a screw, even I've had a uh, uh, throw a couple curves a little bit um, so that's your uh, biggest enemy so when you're training your volunteer parents or your coaches um, once you really get that micro adjuster set in for your height and you know your batter in there and everything's set up to kick this left or right to make sure it's right down the middle it's really ball orientation um, the 4-4 is going to work like I said again with that LC5 ball if you put a t-ball in here you put a real baseball in uh, it's not going to throw the same no matter how you set it in there. Um, so uh, one last attempt at it. We're going to kick this over and make sure it's lined up since I really didn't do that. Ball straight up and down. Right down the middle. That's a perfect strike all day long for the boys. Uh, hope that helped everybody. Uh, thanks for watching the video and we'll catch you on the field.